Bryophyte, Wikipedia article audio. Bryophytes are an informal group consisting of three divisions of nonvascular land plants, the liverworts, hornworts, and mosses. They are characteristically limited in size and prefer moist habitats although they can survive in drier environments. The bryophytes consist of about 20,000 plant species. Bryophytes produce enclosed reproductive structures, but they do not produce flowers or seeds. They reproduce via spores. Bryophytes are usually considered to be a paraphyletic group and not a monophyletic group, although some studies have produced contrary results. Regardless of their status, the name is convenient and remains in use as an informal collective term. The term bryophyte comes from Greek beta-roomicron nu, brian tree moss, oyster green, and phi upsilon tau nu, phyton plant. The defining features of bryophytes are Habitat Life cycle Bryophytes exist in a wide variety of habitats. They can be found growing in a range of temperatures, elevations, and moisture. Bryophytes can grow where vascularized plants cannot because they do not depend on roots for an uptake of nutrients from soil. Bryophytes can survive on rocks and bare soil. Like all land plants, bryophytes have life cycles with alternation of generations. In each cycle, a haploid gametophyte, each of whose cells contains a fixed number of unpaired chromosomes, alternates with a diploid sporophyte, whose cell contain two sets of paired chromosomes. Gametophytes produce haploid sperm and eggs which fuse to form diploid zygotes that grow into sporophytes. Sporophytes produce haploid spores by meiosis, that grow into gametophytes. Bryophytes are gametophyte dominant, meaning that the more prominent, longer-lived plant is the haploid gametophyte. The diploid sporophytes appear only occasionally and remain attached to and nutritionally dependent on the gametophyte. In bryophytes, the sporophytes are always unbranched and produce a single sporangium. Liverworts, mosses, and hornworts spend most of their lives as gametophytes. Gametangia, archegonia, and antheridia are produced on the gametophytes sometimes at the tips of shoots, in the axils of leaves or hidden under thali. Some bryophytes, such as the liverwort marca ntia, create elaborate structures to bear the gametangia that are called gametangiophores. Sperm are flagellated and must swim from the antheridia that produce them to archegonia which may be on a different plant. Arthropods can assist in transfer of sperm. Sexuality Fertilized eggs become zygotes, which develop into sporophyte embryos inside the archegonia. Mature sporophytes remain attached to the gametophyte. They consist of a stalk called a seta and a single sporangium or capsule. Inside the sporangium, haploid spores are produced by meiosis. These are dispersed most commonly by wind, and if they land in a suitable environment can develop into a new gametophyte. Thus bryophytes disperse by a combination of swimming sperm and spores, in a manner similar to lycophytes, ferns and other cryptogams. The arrangement of antheridia and archegonia on an individual bryophyte plant is usually constant within a species although in some species it may depend on environmental conditions. The main division is between species in which the antheridia and archegonia occur on the same plant and those in which they occur on different plants. The term monoicus may be used where antheridia and archegonia occur on the same gametophyte and the term dioicus where they occur on different gametophytes. Classification and Phylogeny in seed plants, 
Manetius is used where flowers with anthers and flowers with ovules occur on the same sporophyte and dioecious where they occur on different sporophytes. These terms occasionally may be used instead of monoicus and dioecus to describe bryophyte gametophytes. Manetius and monoicus are both derived from the Greek for one house, dioecious and dioecus from the Greek for two houses. The use of the OIC terminology is said to have the advantage of emphasizing the difference between the gametophyte sexuality of bryophytes and the sporophyte sexuality of seed plants. Monoicous plants are necessarily bisexual, meaning that the same plant has both sexes. The exact arrangement of the antheridia and archegonia in monoicous plants varies. They may be born on different shoots on the same shoot but not together in a common structure, or together in a common inflorescence. Dioecus plants are unisexual, meaning that the same plant has only one sex. All four patterns occur in species of the moss genus Bryum. Traditionally, all living land plants without vascular tissues were classified in a single taxonomic group, often a division. More recently, phylogenetic research has questioned whether the bryophytes form a monophyletic group and thus whether they should form a single taxon. Although a 2005 study supported the traditional view that the bryophytes form a monophyletic group, by 2010 a broad consensus had emerged among systematists that bryophytes as a whole are not a natural group although each of the three extant groups is monophyletic. Paraphyletic view The three bryophyte clades are the Marchantiophyta, Bryophyta, and Anthocerotophyta. The vascular plants or tracheophytes form a fourth, unranked clade of land plants called the Polysporangiophyta. In this analysis, Hornworts are sister to vascular plants and liverworts are sister to all other land plants, including the hornworts and mosses. Phylogenetic studies continue to produce conflicting results. In particular those based on gene sequences suggest the bryophytes are paraphyletic, whereas those based on the amino acid translations of the same genes suggest they are monophyletic. A 2014 study concluded that composition biases were responsible for these differences and that the bryophytes are monophyletic. The issue remains unresolved. Other views Liverworts Evolution Mosses Hornworts Similarities to land plants Vascular plants When extinct plants are taken into account, the picture is slightly altered. Some extinct land plants, such as the horneophytes, are not bryophytes, but also are not vascular plants because, like bryophytes, they do not have true vascular tissue. A different distinction is needed. In bryophytes, the sporophyte is a simple unbranched structure with a single spore-forming organ. In all other land plants, the polysporangiophytes, the sporophyte is branched and carries many sporangia. It has been argued that this contrast between bryophytes and other land plants is less misleading than the traditional one of nonvascular versus vascular plant, since many mosses have well-developed water-conducting vessels. The contrast is shown in a slightly different cladogram. Liverworts Mosses Hornworts Similarities to aquatic plants Protracheophytes, such as Horneophyton or Olpiton Comparative morphology Tracheophytes or vascular plants their life cycles are dominated by the gametophyte stage, their sporophytes are unbranched, they do not have a true vascular tissue containing lignin. 
The term bryophyte thus refers to a grade of lineages defined primarily by what they lack. Compared to other living land plants, they lack vascular tissue containing lignin and branched sporophytes bearing multiple sporangia. The prominence of the gametophyte in the life cycle is also a shared feature of the three bryophyte lineages. An alternative phylogeny, based on amino acids rather than genes, shows bryophytes as a monophyletic group. Soil conditioning, bioindicators, moss gardens, pesticides, hornworts, uses. Bibliography Liverworts Fuel, Packaging, Wound Dressing Mosses Vascular Plants If this phylogeny proves correct, then the complex sporophyte of living vascular plants might have evolved independently of the simpler unbranched sporophyte present in bryophytes. Other studies suggest a monophyletic group comprising liverworts and mosses, with hornworts being sister to vascular plants. Between 510 to 630 million years ago, land plants evolved from aquatic plants, specifically green algae. Molecular phylogenetic studies conclude that bryophytes are the earliest diverging lineages of the extant land plants. They provide insights into the migration of plants from aquatic environments to land. A number of physical features link bryophytes to both land plants and aquatic plants. Distinct adaptations observed in bryophytes have allowed plants to colonize Earth's terrestrial environments. To prevent desiccation of plant tissues in a terrestrial environment, a waxy cuticle covering the soft tissue of the plant provides protection. The development of gametangia provided further protection specifically for gametes. They also have embryonic development which is a significant adaptation seen in land plants and not green algae. While bryophytes have no truly vascularized tissue, they do have organs that have specific functions similar to those functions of leaves and stems in higher-level land plants. Bryophytes also exhibit connections to their aquatic ancestry. They share various features with their green algae ancestors. Both green algae and bryophytes have chlorophyll A and B, and the chloroplast structures are similar. Like algae and land plants, Bryophytes also produce starch and contain cellulose in their walls. Bryophytes depend on water for reproduction and survival. A thin layer of water is required on the surface of the plant to enable the movement of sperm between gametophytes and the fertilization of an egg. Summary of the morphological characteristics of the gametophytes of the three groups of bryophytes Summary of the morphological characteristics of the sporophytes of the three groups of bryophytes Environmental Characteristics of bryophytes make them useful to the environment. Depending on the specific plant texture, bryophytes have been shown to help improve the water retention and air space within soil. Bryophytes are used in pollution studies to indicate soil pollution, air pollution, and UVB radiation. Gardens in Japan are designed with moss to create peakful sanctuaries. Some bryophytes have been found to produce natural pesticides. The liverwort, Plagiochila, produces a chemical that is poisonous to mice. Other bryophytes produce chemicals that are antifeedants which protect them from being eaten by slugs. When Phthium sphagnum is sprinkled on the soil of germinating seeds, it inhibits growth of damping off fungus which would otherwise kill young seedlings. Commercial Peat is a fuel that is produced from dried bryophytes, typically sphagnum. 
Bryophytes' antibiotic properties and ability to retain water make them a useful packaging material for vegetables, flowers, and bulbs. Also, because of the antibiotic properties, sphagnum was used as a surgical dressing in World War I. <laughs>